This is the video I wish I could have watched when trying to figure out how to actually use AI for my own benefit at work. If you're a data analyst or working in some job that relies heavily on working with data and you want to learn just enough about AI agents to see how you can improve and speed up your daily workflow, then here I am breaking things down in the simplest possible way. I will guide you step by step from basic large language models, LLMs, to complex AI agents with real life examples, clear explanations, and minimal jargon. I'm sure you've heard of ChatGPT, Gemini, or Claude. These are all large language models that can read a ton of text, learn how words and ideas fit together, and then give you useful responses when you ask questions. The top three traits of LLMs are number one, text generation. LLMs answer questions, summarize text, or generate code, but only within a single interaction. Number two, no automation. LLMs cannot perform tasks beyond generating language. They do not trigger events or connect with business systems. And number three, human interaction needed. LLMs require human prompts and guidance for every request. They do not perform tasks on their own. Let me cover a simple technical example I use at work on a daily basis, and that is writing code, debugging code, fixing code, writing Tableau calculated fields, or even Excel functions and formulas. I use LLMs like OpenAI's GPT models to simply copy and paste in the code I want to debug or write a prompt in simple plain English on what code calculated field or function I want the LLM to generate for me. It is super quick and efficient and saves me a ton of time, especially with coding, as I no longer have to write code from scratch. A non-technical example would be analyzing feedback from various stakeholders. Let's say I send out an email asking for feedback on a dashboard that I own to many stakeholders. Instead of reading through every email one by one, I can just copy and paste and collate all of the responses in a single Word doc and ask Copilot to find the key themes, pain points, and opportunities for improvements with a single prompt. If you want to go from AI beginner to a confident job-ready practitioner, I can't recommend DataCamp and their AI agent fundamentals track enough. I've personally used DataCamp for years to boost my own data and AI skills, and what sets them apart is just how interactive and hands-on their courses are. No more passive video marathons. In the AI agent fundamentals track, you'll start with generative AI for business to see how AI is reshaping organizations, then dive into introduction to AI agents to understand how agents actually work in real world scenarios. No coding required whatsoever. Finally, building scalable agentic systems will show you how to create AI agents that are ready for production using frameworks like MCP and A2A. You'll also get access to a super handy AI agents cheat sheet, and when you finish, you can add a statement of accomplishment to your LinkedIn or resume. So, if you're serious about staying competitive and want real skills you can actually use, check out DataCamp's AI agent fundamentals track using my link in the description below. Now, let's level up. Let's say you want AI to do something in a series of steps, not just answer once. What do you do and how do you do it? An AI workflow will be the answer, which is a sequence where AI follows predefined steps to solve a problem. The top three traits of AI workflows are number one, step-by-step -step automation. AI handles tasks in order triggered by specific conditions. AI performs the same steps every time, making this perfect for routine jobs. Number two, limited flexibility. AI does what it's told and no more. And number three, multi-system orchestration. AI workflows can connect tools and systems, passing data from one step to another, very much like automated pipelines in business environments. Here's a technical example. Let's say I need to clean data, analyze it, and summarize the insights for a weekly report I own. Platforms like Power BI Copilot, Power Automate, or Zapier would let me link each step. 
import my data, clean the messy rows, run my analysis, and then summarize everything in a tailored report, all with a workflow I can kick off by clicking a button. To keep the video format consistent, let me give you a non-technical use case as well. Let's say I have a regular meeting every Monday where I want the meeting notes to be summarized and the actions to be emailed. All I have to do is record the meeting, then use the AI workflow to extract the transcript from the recording, ask AI to summarize the meeting, list the key actions, and send out an email including the summary and the key actions to all stakeholders who attended the meeting. I could schedule this workflow to run every Monday at a specific time or based on a trigger like when the meeting recording file has been successfully uploaded into my designated folder in the cloud. I use Microsoft at work, so Power Automate combined with Azure AI services would be the ideal tools and platforms for my use case. And now it's time to take it to the last level, AI agents. This is where things get both super powerful and exciting. And speaking of exciting, I recently launched a community called Data Analysis Lab that is focused on teaching data analysis through hands-on real-life projects and on building a data portfolio that actually stands out. If this sounds like something you're after, please check out the Data Analysis Lab community link in the description below. Now, Back to the video. Think of an AI agent like a smart teammate who reasons, acts, and even learns to do multi-step, multi-tool work for you. React is a very popular framework for AI agents, and I'm sure you can guess by now what React stands for, reasoning and acting. Reasoning or thinking because AI can talk to itself out loud, step by step figuring out what it needs to do next. Kind of like when they ask you to think out loud during a job interview to walk the interviewers through your thought process. Acting or doing because AI then takes an action based on its own thinking. Maybe it looks something up online, does a calculation, or checks a database. Kind of like you filling in the missing bits for a business case study if I'm sticking to the job interview analogy. The top three traits of AI agents are number one, autonomous action. AI can take the initiative, not just wait for your instructions. This is super important. I, the human, can be replaced by an LLM. Number two, goal-driven. AI works towards a result, adapting if things change along the way. And number three, dynamic tool use. AI can utilize various tools, APIs and knowledge sources, making decisions in real time. Basically, a digital teammate who solves problem for you from start to finish. And you won't even run into attitude issues or any other stakeholder management difficulties like with real human teammates. Let's take our technical example to the next level. I already said that I use Microsoft apps a lot at work, so imagine this scenario. I want to build an AI agent that will not just import my data, clean it, analyze it, and send out a report. But on top of this, I would like the AI agent to identify top opportunities based on my data sets and use the React framework to review its own finding, test alternative analysis approaches, cross-validate against historical data, flag any uncertainties or assumptions, and then give me the top recommendations that will be sent out to my stakeholders. I could use Power Automate to orchestrate everything Power BI with Power Query to import and clean the data, Power BI Copilot and Azure AI services to do data analysis, find insights, and perform reasoning and validation, Power BI and Outlook for reporting and notifications an AI agent purely using Microsoft apps and services. Obviously, there is no restriction on what platforms you can use. I just used a Microsoft example because it's what I use most at work. Lindy and 8 n and Make.com are three really good platforms where you can build AI agents using no code or low code. Let's also take our non-technical example 
to the next level. Continuing the automated email sending example, let's say I now want to create a social media post as well that relates to that week's topics with up-to-date industry information. I could use an LLM to search for the top news on the topics covered in my weekly meeting, store those links in a spreadsheet, let's say Excel, use an LLM again to summarize these articles, and then use a prompt to draft my article. For this to be an AI agent and not just an AI workflow, I need AI to critique its own output, let's say by reviewing it and benchmarking it against social media posting best practices. And I would need AI to iterate until all of the best practices are met to ensure my social media post is engaging, easy to read, and gets enough eyeballs. After a few cycles of this iteration, I would have my final article that the AI agent would post automatically for me. I, the human, am no longer needed here. It is clear that AI agents are revolutionizing how technical and non-technical work can and is carried out in the workplace. To wrap up, here's a simplified visualization of the three levels we covered today. Level one, LLMs. You provide an input and the LLM responds to you with an output. Super easy, super straightforward. Level two. AI workflows. You provide an input and tell the LLM to follow predefined steps that may involve in retrieving information and using external tools. Human intervention is still needed here. Level three, AI agents. You set a goal and the LLM performs reasoning to determine how best to achieve your goal, takes action using tools to produce an interim result, analyzes that interim result and decides whether iterations are required and then produces a final output that achieves your initial goal. Human intervention is no longer needed as the AI agent becomes the decision maker. If you found this video helpful, feel free to like and subscribe for more content like this. If you're after building a data portfolio and learning through hands-on real-life projects, then check out the Data Analysis Lab community link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one.